Katie Vonderhaar, and this is your Hockett News. We have a lot of news from around the country and around the school to get to today, along with a special edition of Teacher of the Week. Let's jump right into it with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Hawks. Now that we've honored our country with the pledge, let's talk a bit about our country's political turmoil. If you've been paying attention to political news lately, you might have noticed that there's a lot of controversy with this new Supreme Court nominee. So let's plunge into the political world with our Hawk Hit headline. Neil Gorsuch, the Supreme Court nominee, has a plethora of controversy surrounding him. Democrats have decided to take their voice and turn it into action and are holding a filibuster. The senator who brought up the idea, Jeff Merkley, was on the floor for 15 and a half hours. Jeez, I couldn't imagine standing that long, nonetheless having to talk that long. However, Republicans may be directing themselves to what's been called a nuclear option, which would mean that they would only need 51 votes to end the filibuster instead of the typical 60 needed. While a filibuster may last 24 hours, our show only lasts a few minutes, so make sure to keep tuned in as we have our need to know coming up with Sarah Breedman. Let's head out to her in the field with all the news from around the school. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Freeman, and this is your Need to Know. Good job, rifle people. Mason Faulkner, Lincoln Marsh, and Kyle Stevenson qualified to compete in the National Junior Olympic Rifle Championships in Colorado Springs. Please congratulate them when you see them. Remember, Hawks, to order your yearbook at tinyurl.com slash Hutchison Yearbook 2016. There will be a closed drive this the whole month of April hosted by your sophomore class. Come by Miss Eiler's classroom to drop off donations. Congratulations Hosa. Hosa won. Jenna and Aaron took third place in the medical display and have qualified for the International Leadership Conference in Orlando, Florida. They also placed fourth and fifth in medical spelling. Caitlin Lammers placed fourth in pharma pharmacology and also qualifies for the international competition. Rebecca Goh and Caitlin Lammers took fifth place in first aid and CPR and also qualified for the international leadership conference. All right, Hawks, it's Thursday, and you know what that means. It's time to draw another Marsha Spot winner. Mr. Johnson is the new Marsha Spot winner. Congratulations. This has been your Need to Know. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Sarah. Now that we know everything from around the school, let's direct our attention to the teacher we should surely all know about. We've switched around our normal student of the week to a special edition of Teacher of the Week because this teacher is just that much of a star. This week's Student of the Week's not a student at all. It's a teacher, your Teacher of the Week. Congratulations, Mr. Temple. Mr. Temple is an esteemed fiddle player. She also has some dogs and mushes those dogs. She also spent some time living in London. But the main reason she's your Teacher of the Week, Mr. Temple just won BP Teacher of Excellence. This week's champion and Teacher of the Week is Mr. Temple. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mrs. De Temple. Enjoy your week of fame while the rest of us eagerly sit by in hopes of being next week's student or teacher of the week. Well, that's all we have for you today, Hawks. Have a great day, and as always, stay fly.
on her and this 